I'm Deborah Bird, and this is this week's Earth Sky News. Today is Wednesday, November 25th. First up, a tiny, ultra cool, super stormy star. This red dwarf star is about 35 light years away. It's in the direction of the constellation Bootes. It produces much stronger flares than our sun. Astronomers at the Harvard Smithsonian Center for Astrophysics observed a flare from this star that's 10,000 times stronger than anything our sun produces. That's really surprising because the star has only about a tenth of the sun's mass. You may have heard that flares from our sun these blasts of energetic particles have the potential to threaten Earth orbiting satellites and power grids. And that's true. But the astronomers who studied this red dwarf star said that, magnetically speaking, it's a very different beast from our Sun. For one thing, it has a magnetic field that's several hundred times stronger than the Sun. It spins rapidly on its axis, uh, completing a full rotation about every two hours. It takes our Sun about a month to spin once on its axis. And what's more, astronomers observed its very powerful flare, 10,000 times stronger than a solar flare, after observing the star for just four hours. So that suggests that this red dwarf is continuously producing monster flares like this one. Red dwarfs are the most common type of star in our galaxy. They've been thought of as promising targets in the search for distant planets. But these astronomers say that radiation from powerful flares could strip a planet's atmosphere or destroy complex molecules on its surface. So that makes these sorts of stars much less likely places for life to catch hold. Last month, I got a chance to visit for a couple of days at McDonald Observatory in West Texas. I toured the inner workings of this telescope. It's the Hobby Eberly Telescope. It's recently undergone a $25 million upgrade and it's just reachieved first light. The telescope is being geared up for a new project called the Dark Energy Experiment or HETDEX. The project will survey a million galaxies in the next three to four years with the aim of exploring a mysterious and largely unknown force that's thought to pervade our universe known to astronomers as dark energy. So what is dark energy? Well, you've probably heard that if our universe started in a big bang, then it's either going to expand indefinitely or ultimately collapse back on itself. Astronomers tried for decades to figure out which, and by the 1990s, they thought they knew the answer. They concluded that the universe didn't have enough mass to stop the expansion and that it would expand forever. But if it were going to expand forever, then it makes sense to think that the expansion of the universe must be slowing down. That's because through billions of years of expansion, gravity would be trying to pull the universe back. In the 1990s, astronomers, though, found out something really strange, and that's what this image is showing. They found that the expansion of the universe is moving faster today than it was a billion years ago. So. That would be like throwing a ball up in the air, and instead of having it drop back down to you, the ball would just keep going up faster and faster until it left the Earth completely. And you can see that within our current cosmology, our current way of looking at the universe, our Big Bang universe described by Einstein's theory of relativity, this fast expansion in modern times is really hard to explain. And that's where dark energy comes in. It's thought of as a mysterious force that's pushing the universe apart. Astronomers describe it as a gravity gravitational force, but instead of pulling, it pushes. And that's what the McDonald Observatory Telescope in West Texas will be exploring as it surveys a million galaxies in the coming three to four years, as astronomers try to pin down the amount of the expansion. It's one of a couple of major projects on Earth today that are trying to do this. Another similar one is at Cerro Tololo in Chile. The idea is that better observational data on the very fast and very surprising fast expansion of the universe in modern times will let astrophysicists test their theories about dark energy. The Texas project is due to begin in early 2016. Next up, NASA has launched a one-year study to understand the omics of space travel. 
omics is a realm of bioresearch. It's about collecting data on the medley of microorganisms that regulate our bodies. Astronauts in Earth orbit live in a constant state of free fall, and in space, cosmic radiation is intense. Both things affect human health. NASA's new focus involves intensive measurements on the bodies of astronauts aboard ISS to find out how conditions in space change the human body. So one new NASA project is called the Twin Study. Twin astronaut Mark Kelly is staying behind on Earth while his twin brother Scott Kelly, who you see in this image, is orbiting Earth aboard ISS for one year. Both Mark and Scott will be poked and prodded and questioned, and scientists want to see if their bodies show significant differences from each other after one of them spends a year in space. By the way, Scott Kelly, who you see here, has already broken all records for the greatest number of consecutive days in space. At this recording, he's been in space for 243 days. The Chandra X-ray Observatory released this image this week. It's nicknamed the Cheshire Cat. Some of the features of the cat are distant galaxies, but part of the image is kind of an illusion. It's created by the stretching and bending of light. In other words, this image is an example of gravitational lensing. It can happen when there's a huge amount of mass between Earth and distant objects in space. In this case, we can't see the mass that's between us and these distant galaxies. So astronomers think that most of the intervening mass exists in the form of dark matter. That's the missing mass now thought to make up about one quarter of our universe. Observations from the Chandra X-ray Observatory show that the two eyes of the cat in this image are really two groups of galaxies that are racing toward each other at over 300,000 miles an hour. The data show that hot gas in these two galaxy groups are heated to millions of degrees. Eventually, these two galaxy groups will slam into each other. Astronomers estimate that the two eyes of the cat will merge in about a billion years. Finally, our image of the week from Earth Sky community member Asteti Sechuan in Indonesia. What you see here is the shadow of a cloud on another cloud. It looks as if the sun and the shadow are both behind the cloud, but that's just a trick of perspective. I asked the sky optics expert Les Cowley of the great website Atmospheric Optics about this photo, and he told me that the shadow is actually in front of the cloud. He said these cloud shadows are typically cast on misty or hazy air, basically another cloud layer under the cloud. The mist or haze might not be visible, but the shadow shows up clearly. Show us your image by clicking the Submit Images button at the top of any page at earthsky.org. That's this week's Earth Sky News. I'm Deborah Bird.